What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your Puffco Pro Atomizer. As you can see I've taken 218 dabs out of this thing so far and this is what my coil is looking like. I've just been cleaning it after every use with a q-tip and occasionally soaking the q-tip in some alcohol and then wiping it out with that. And also we'll be cleaning the carb cap which as you can see is a little sticky and has some little things stuck to it. Alright, so you're going to want to go and get some 91% rubbing alcohol. And yeah, you're going to be wanting to use 91 and not 70 because it'll get a lot more clean. Alright, so you want to get some rubbing alcohol there on that Q-tip and go into your bowl. Give it a nice scrub down. Before we soak it, you'll notice it's pulling off a lot of excess concentrate. And the bowl is already looking a lot cleaner, but we are going to fully soak this in alcohol and uh, we'll come back. So next you're going to want to go ahead and drop everything into a cup and then just go ahead and fill it with that alcohol. And then yeah, we're going to let this soak overnight. And we'll also be doing this with a glass piece. You can go ahead and clean out the inside pieces of your base with a Q-tip soaked in alcohol. I tend to get a lot of concentrate in here and also in those two holes right there. You're also going to want to take that q-tip soaked in alcohol and clean this gold connector pin on your base. And while we're waiting for everything to soak, we're going to go ahead and take a dab of this blueberry skunk by Sooner Glue soaking for about three hours and you can see the alcohol is getting a little yellow hint to it you can go ahead and leave yours in for up to 12 hours overnight if you have to i'm not going to wait i'm going to go ahead and take these out and get them air drying all right so once you take everything out of the alcohol you're going to want to wipe it down with some dry q-tips and you can see that bowl got nice and clean again it looks almost brand new and then yeah i also did separate this silicone piece from the atomizer just so it could air dry better we wouldn't have any alcohol trapped in there and I did rinse out the glass piece with water and I also rinsed off these silicone attachments in the little glass piece with water. But you do not want to put water on your atomizer so we're just going to let these air dry and we'll come back in about an hour or so. After letting this thing air dry for about an hour I reassembled the atomizer and put it back on the base and then something you're going to want to do before you use this you're going to want to start it up and just let this thing heat up and let any of that excess rubbing alcohol or any chemicals burn off of that and then you're good to go. So okay. thanks everybody that watched this video. Hopefully you learned something today. And if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, Puffco Peak tutorials and stuff, then go ahead and subscribe to my page and like and comment and all that good stuff. All right, peace out guys, bye.